Watch Quarter Horse Racing's richest race, the All-American Futurity, a $2 million Labor Day Classic, only on TVG. And once again, TVG with various outlets around North America. Very pleased to be here on site for the 2009 All-American Futurity. I'm Todd Shrupp with Dave Weaver. Our weather, well, it's on the cool side, so it's very comfortable, and it hasn't rained enough to really change this racetrack. Yeah, it's been very gray, but for the first time in about three hours, I'm starting to see some blue in the skies as well. So I think we're going to be in for a... a very good weather by the time this race rolls around. Wind always seems to be a factor up here, but even that's kind of stayed away a little bit. Now, I mean, when you look at that five miles per hour, it can get a lot worse up here. Yeah, let's put it this way. It's been raining, but it's been way worse in years past. We do have a scratch in here. The six Brooks Midnight is out. The lone scratch in this field in 2009. So nine remaining horses will go, including your fastest qualifier, Love Samba, who is three to one on the morning line. But by post time, I could see favorite cartel being the favorite. I think running Brooke Gow is going to get plenty of money in here as well. Would you say this is one of the more evenly matched groups we've seen in that recent I've years? That I've seen, yeah, that, that I've probably ever seen. I could see from top to bottom anybody winning this race. This field is here. His time wasn't that fast, 21-39, but it would get him in the field. And look who he picks up in the irons. Two-time All-American Futurity winner, G.R. Carter. She's a first ratify, was an upset winner on trial day at 19-1 to and a big price here today. Well... Sandy Irwin and Jose Dominguez have been in this race before, but they're looking to win it today. Hubbard, Helzer, Jones, and Thompson have favorite cartel. Favorite cartel will be ridden, as always, by Cody Jensen, who has ridden this one all five times. And this is a horse that he absolutely loved all along, even before favorite cartel had even hit the racetrack. He had a feeling this one was going to be a good one, and he was right. And those silks Cody Jensen wears will turn into a suit jacket when he goes up to celebrate after winning the All-American Futurity. Nine to two, that's a surprisingly big price on Favorite Cartel. Even though he was six to one on the morning line, I really thought that he would end up right around two to one. But right now, he is your third choice in the wagering. The favorite is the four, Love Samba. There's Ricky Ramirez looking to live the dream today. And Love Samba, one of two horse or one of three chances in here for father son training combination. We told you about Trey and Blaine Wood. The five is running Brooke Gal. She was the most impressive to me on trial day. She got bumped away from the gate and still exploded to win by a length and three quarters. That is my pick to win this year's All American Futurity. Scratch the six, Brooks Midnight. The seven is swinging Daddy O. Rider Cody Wayne Scott has taken a securitous route to riding quarter horses, therefore being in the All American. Well, Swing and Daddy is my up upset special here as far as hitting the Superfecta Todd at 11 to 1. I think he'll be in the number. The eighth is First Corona Call. First Corona Call had only faced New Mexico bred prior to the trial for the All American, and he stepped up and qualified. Not only has it never been done, but you can never even dream of it. That is winning the Kentucky Derby and owning the All American Futurity winner. But that's what Double Eagle Ranch can do if the nine winners cartel takes this year's race. Well, Mark Allen, Leonard Block, these guys are do have a chance here at six to one. Said they love that outside post. Well, there's only one horse outside of them, and that's the 10, Just So Sixty, who qualified for the Riodoso Futurity and finished ninth there. Mike Joyce was here on trial day, and as he eloquently put it, there were 200 horses who came to the mountain with a dream, and now we are down to nine the after gate. the 10 qualified, our late scratch of the six, Brooks Midnight, and now a dream is about now to be realized. Cartel. Let's go out to Robert Fox for the call of the 2009 All-American Futurity. Final two, first Corona call, and Jess So Sixty. Jess so sixty to the outside post, last to go in will be first Corona call. First Corona call going in, all set for the All American Futurity. They're running. Off a step slow was Favorite Cartel. 
Headed out for the lead is running Brooke Gal to the inside. She's a first ratify. Love Samba's a good length back, then swinging daddy -o. into the outside of them. First Corona call, running Brooke Gal to the inside. She's a first ratify, running Brooke Gal, running them off their feet. Running Brooke Gal wins the All-American Futurity. Paul Jones back on familiar ground. Paul Jones has got his lucky spot and he's got another win in the All-American Futurity. It comes with running Brooke Gow. And for owner Chad Richard in a and Racing and Roping, the sixth Brooks Midnight Scratch, but doesn't matter when running Brooke Gow runs the race of her life today. Phenomenal performance. There was literally no one within reach of her. It was just a question of what the final margin would be here. And uh, for favorite cartels, one of those days where he didn't get out of the day, unfortunately. Love Samba didn't really run her race either, but the five running Brick Gal was lights out in Riodoso today. It is a very close finish for second between the eight. First Corona call and the two. She's a first ratify. But here is a look at Ramon Sanchez getting to work on running Brooke Gal, and what a dream trip. And when Ramon Sanchez came out of the jocks room, he kind of glanced here and gave me a real confident look. And he knew that he was riding a very nice horse today. He had to love what he felt underneath him in the trial. And she gets it done and a fist pump from Ramon. And how about this? The Beehive State representing in the land of enchantment, a Utah bred running Brooke Gal, the daughter of Brooke Stone Bay out of the runaway winter mare, RJK Runaway, does exactly that here in the 2009 All-American off at 7 to 2. We'll come back with winning interviews and more live from Ruidoso Downs coverage of the 2009 All-American Futurity. I got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. That tonight's going to be a good night. That tonight's going to be a good night. Oh, favorite cartel got left, but the Phillies in the lead. Come on, Come on, Rennenbrook Gale. 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 Come on, Ramon! 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 She's gonna win it! She's gonna win it! Go! Woohoo! Woohoo! Paul, Paul, come on now! That was amazing! By that was an amazing performance by her. What do you think right out of the gate? Gosh, you know she left good. She looked like the part of the Red Sea. I mean, the horses just got away from her. She had a clean trip and she ran a race, it was awesome. It, was that, awesome. it doesn't get old after three times, does it? It doesn't, you know, the, the two that you won before, nobody remembers it, what, what everybody remembers is what happens right now. Paul Jones, Thank congratulations you. on your third All-American. Thank you. Pretty incredible to think that he hasn't witnessed those All-Americans up close. He's done it right there in the jocks room in the kitchen. Hey, when you have a lucky spot, you got to stick to it. <laughs> the sad thing was that he co-owned Favorite Cartel, yeah. who he noticed got left, but, you know, he only had two chances. One of them got wiped out early, and he immediately saw that Ramon Sanchez had running, running for Crow in front, and uh, Paul Jones wins his third All-American as a trainer. It only takes one to win the All-American, and that one this year was running Brooke Gal. Dynamite performance by this Utah bred Philly off as our second choice. Should mention the photo for second did go to the two. She's a first ratify. She was trying to keep up with running Brooke Gal in the early stages and then had to hold off the eight first Corona call. So it will be five to eight. Your top three finishers here led by running Brooke Gal. Running Brooke Gal got the clean trip 21 14. A sensational final clocking for this two-year-old filly by Brookstone Bay and now Chad Richard who also has that sire Brookstone Bay it's the day of his life if you came up with that superfecta nice return there 5283 4500 as for Love Samba a little bit of a stumble at the start the yeah. favorite she just had no luck in the final. She's always been very good in the trials, but her day will come. And the celebration continuing as it does here with running Brooke Gal, and those connections will then be treated by the gracious host here, Mr. R.D. Hubbard, up to his suite to have dinner afterwards and sit on the roof. Uh, it's a spectacular view everywhere you look on the roof here at Ruidoso Downs and enjoy this scenery around here. We hope you enjoyed the 2009 All-American Futurity on TVG. President and General Manager Ann McGovern on hand to hand out the trophy for the 2009 All-American Futurity. And Ann McGovern, 
I'll say it. I got a lot of favorite people in racing. She's on that list. She's just tremendous host when we come down here to Rudoso Downs. Anything we need, Ann and her staff are taken care of. And uh, nice that she gets us a, a moment in the spotlight there.